Welcome back subscribers and welcome new viewers for September's general monthly reading for 2022 for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon. And I want to thank each and every one of you who have subscribed, who like and share my videos because that helps my whole channel to circulate to more and more individuals who are needing this information just like you. And I have just started a newsletter and it is for September and I just sent it out a couple days ago on the 26th of August. Today I am taping on the 28th. So if you did not receive a newsletter, it's because I didn't have your address. So if you would like one and um, uh, send me uh, your email in the comments section below or you can send me an email at thecreativewoman369 at gmail.com and it will it's explaining all of the details of a private readings that I am now presently opening up to all of you who would like that and again my newsletter speaks of that and all the details for that. And any of you who do not know that I have my first book, I am just about ready to go into print. And there's a preview, a sneak preview for all of you, if you like, for in the my newsletter as well. So telling you the website and all of that information. So again, if you'd like that, just send me an email in the comments below this video or a personal email to the creative woman 369 at gmail.com. All right, Capricorns, let's see. First of all, we just had the new moon on the 27th yesterday. And that was in Virgo, four degrees, four minutes. And the next new moon will be at the end of September on the 25th, two degrees Libra, 49 minutes, which is actually closer to three degrees in Libra. The next full moon will be on September 10th, 17 degrees Pisces, 41 minutes. So that is also closer to 18 degrees Pisces. And along on that same day, along with the full moon, we are going to have, well, Mercury is in Libra right now, and it's going retrograde on the same day, the 10th, as the full moon. And in the last week of September, we will actually have Mercury back into Virgo and it will be in close conjunction with Venus in Virgo as well. So expect loving communications for some of you or you might be sending loving communications. Okay, also Saturn is still retrograde in Aquarius and it begins at 20 degrees and on the 11th of September, it goes to 19 degrees and will stay that way the rest of the month. And then we also have Pluto still retrograde in Capricorn and it will stay 26 degrees all month long. Last but not least, we also still have retrograde North Node in Taurus conjunct transiting Uranus in Taurus and they are close conjunction all month long. Okay, so let's get to your reading Capricorn. And if this is not the appropriate reading for you, that is perfectly all right because your natal planets and the transiting planets to your natal wheel are going to be unique for each and every one of you. And so you might want to check out your moon, your rising, 
or your north or south nodes of the moon. Okay, so what strongest energy is assisting Capricorn? Sun, moon, rising, north or south nodes of the moon. Okay. Throat chakra number five. So number five absolutely has everything to do with change. And the throat chakra, of course, is communication. So, and specifically communicating communicating verbally. So that is, and, okay, and I'm being called to read the card. It says the frequency of the throat chakra, the blue flower of life, supports our self-expression and our sense of peace and balance. So Capricorns, expect expect whatever communications that you have or you are sharing will be balanced and you will be able to express yourself well and that means those who are listening or who, who you are um, communicating with will have an open correct understanding it will be plain and simple and they will be it will be easy to understand. Okay, so anything else? Nope. Okay, so that's your strongest Capricorn. Okay, and you may have, uh, number five might be significant. Otherwise, again, just in general, uh, you are change. Change is in the air for you in some way, maybe in your communication skills I just received for some of you or how how you are receiving communication how you are giving and, and or receiving communication in general again this is a general reading but what's highlighted is your communication skills your throat chakra and the peace and balance and self-expression is opening up for you this month especially now through the end of september okay so let's see what astrological one more shuffle I sensing okay let's see what astrological card comes out for you so what planet house placement is significant for you this month uh, having everything to do with what is going on and what you might need to know Okay, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South, Nodes of the Moon. Okay. The Fifth House. Okay, so the Fifth House for you this month is being highlighted, which has everything to do with your creativity, your love life, true love, your children, and if you don't have children, I'm getting children in general, younger, younger than you, maybe you have an influence on them. Maybe some of you I'm getting, you could have your creative specialty is geared towards younger individuals, or maybe if you have a, a YouTube channel, maybe younger individuals are listening to you. So you have a, an audience, your audience, there we go. Whatever that means for you, um, but that is what's being highlighted for you this month. Okay, and that's the natural house of Leo. So you might have Leo in your chart, you don't have to. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, I just got, maybe you have your son or whatever you have in Capricorn. If it's not your son, it possibly could be in your fifth house for some of you. Okay. And you might be having more fun this month. I was drawn to the word fun on this fifth house card. So fun, enjoyment. Maybe just gaining your youth back too, is 
significant for you or that's what you're concentrating on this month for some of you. Okay. All right. So let's see. Well, I'm being drawn to get a soul card for my soul deck here to try and see what else, because this is pretty, let's see if we can get some more details of what is going on. Some of you might be drawn to the beach this, this month. You might be meeting someone new at the beach. Maybe you're traveling to some place that has a beach, a tropical or any place that has a beach. Maybe you're visiting your parents or you're visiting grandparents I just got or friends or family members of some kind and it's close to the beach and so you'll be visiting the beach. Again, I'm getting a lot of messages there. Very specific. Okay. And maybe some of you, you love the beach and that's why you're going there for some fun. Okay, whoa, okay, so let's see, Capricorn, okay. You've been growing, you've been growing something, you've been expanding in some way. Capricorns, first and foremost is what I got from this picture. And you've built a solid base for yourself, I'm getting. And, and because you see, I'm noticing all of these, the trees, branches, and they're all, the leaves are all um, branched out and you've expanded. You have strengthened and expanded your base and your, okay, see, because look at this big trunk, thick trunk. And... You've expanded yourself in some way. It could be having to do with your creative endeavor. It could, could be maybe now this is what you're going to be doing. Expanding out to new avenues is what I just got. And again, again she's this, this is a female and she's pregnant. And so she is getting ready to birth. So you're getting ready to birth something or you just recently birthed something and it's expanding your whole vision, your whole foundation, whether this is personal or in your business or career, your, your soul purpose, whatever this is, and you're being seen. You're ready to show yourself. What I'm getting is, because she's sitting there, she's ready to birth, and I'm seeing her, she's facing forward. So that's, that's where I get that, yes, you are ready to be seen. Whatever you have birthed or whatever you're about to birth, you're ready to share that now. There you go, to communicate this, to express yourself out into the world. To share this creativity you have or to share this whatever that is with another. Maybe a romantic partner or others, again, younger than you. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put that right there. Okay, so I'm going to try and get a card one of these. For Capricorn, you've really been hard at work and I heard sticking to business. So you've been really sticking to business, sticking to whatever you have had on your mind to complete. And you have been hard at work. And maybe some of you, your booth, bir booth birthing something new that that you're really passionate about. And so you're going to stick to business. It's, it's going to be automatic for you and you're going to um, see it all the way through to completion. And uh, whatever, again, whatever this is, it's a general reading. But 
but you're very excited about it. Again, this could be past something that has just come to fruition or it will be coming to fruition. Listen to your inner voice. Listen to your, your inner voice. This is number 28 and 28 uh, breaks down into a 10 completion and new beginning. So listen to what your higher self is telling you because you're right on. And I just got, maybe you're, you are not sure when to launch this creative and when, or when to tell people, when to share this information. So listen to your inner voice. You are telling yourself correctly. So, yeah, you're right on, you're right on. And this is, you will be able to take flight. This, this project, this creative endeavor, whatever you are ready to express or you have just expressed, it is taking off or it will take off. I was just drawn to the, the wings. So way farther, way expanding out farther than you could even imagine to more individuals than you could imagine to more countries, to more, you know, it's, it's way bigger and it's going to reach way more individuals than you originally originally planned or could even imagine. And I'm also getting, it's not necessarily people, for some reason I'm getting, it, maybe it has to do with the environment in some way or plants or animals or the living creatures too. So something about that I'm getting. And I just got a picture of the ocean again. And a, a big ocean wave and the beautiful sound of the ocean wave. I don't know what that means, but that might be significant for someone out there. Okay. So now I will do this and let's get into, let's get some tarot cards. I'm getting the word calm and peaceful again, like it said, a sense of peace, but I got calm, peace, balance. This is, this is a month where you are feeling that and you, you are able to relax and again, yeah, enjoy, enjoy, have some fun. So I'm just getting that inner sense of peace that, that you are feeling. And so if you've been really working hard, this is, this is the month you're going to get to, to relax and take it easy and just see where this goes for you, whatever that is. Watch and just allow it to take seed and, and grow and expand. And again, you're going to be getting communication back. I just got, so that's what you're, you're just watching that this month. You're, you're putting that out there and then, uh, you get to go and enjoy yourself and just watch what comes back to you because of what you have sent out. Okay, so we have this. No, I don't take upside down. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. See, whatever this project is, whatever this is, maybe it's you're showcasing yourself in some way. But the Wheel of Fortune, yes, it's... Um, it's coming to completion or it's just completed and you get to see now what all of your hard work, the fruits of all your hard work come back to you. 
and, and I'm getting people are going to actually verbally share with you. Also could be in writing, text, email, but they're going to be sharing with you what, how appreciative that they are. And so you're going to get to see that how the, these reactions are very positive and how it has touched people in a very deep personal way and assisted them so on on their path in their life in some way and it's very rewarding so it's a win-win situation and you get to see that you get to see that and you get to know that again the wheel of fortune I'm gonna see someone let me just see something else here what else am I getting Could be the year of the snake. I was drawn to the snake. You you could be have been born in the year of the snake. You don't have to. Yeah, I'm just where you were foggy, where you were unclear in this area. No more. It's it's moving forward motion now. And again, you're going to see see it coming back to you all that hard work okay judgment yes okay so judgment oh I just got maybe some of you have been judging yourselves harshly about something it's not true it's not true so don't don't listen to any of that negative talk self-talk because it's not true and that is that's that's a little blockage that's just a little uh, a little pothole. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Again, I'm getting to listen to the positive inner voice again, not any negative because that's not, that's not correct. Listen to yourself, those positive, positive self-talk, uh, that intuition, that guidance that, that is telling you um, how to present this, when to present this, you know, who to speak to, how to speak, whatever that is. You, you know, you know, and so you've, some of you, I'm just getting, you've been second guessing yourself. Okay. Two and no more. Nope. You're right on the money. Okay. Again, look at this, the wheel of fortune and the world card and the judgment card. So these are big, big things. Look, oh, wow. And you have 10, 20, 21. So this has been a step-by-step -step process for you. So, oops. but what I'm seeing is it's, it's like boom, 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 changing this month. Boom, 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 one after the other. Yeah, and you're gonna be seen in a whole new light. I just got to. So if you haven't been being seen or whatever you've been working on, hasn't worked and it's not getting you it wasn't getting you what you were desiring you know whatever you were putting out there into the world it wasn't coming back okay that's changing that's that's changing that energy is is no longer and now you will be seen for who you are or whatever your creative endeavor is whatever you're putting out there in the world it will be seen correctly there's nothing because I'm looking at her, she's, she's exposed, she's, she's naked, so she's, nothing is covering her up. So whatever was, was blocking or covering or stifling you before or your creativity or whatever you were trying to, your self-expression, your self-expression, definitely. Whatever you were trying to express, whatever you were um, trying to get out and share with others, now is the right time, absolutely now, and it will be um, seen properly, correctly, 
and you will receive positive, positive results. Yeah. Okay. Some of you could have Aquarius in your chart. You could have Taurus, Leo. I'm seeing that. Several. Okay. So let me. Let's. Let's get another deck. Let's see if we can get any more details for you. Let me see, which do I want to use? Okay. Yeah, I'm just feeling that other than, you know, of course, the communication. Uh, it's a very quiet month for you. Again, it's a very relaxed month and very peaceful month for you. So I'm, I'm just keep, I get that feeling and uh, just calmness. Maybe, maybe you're going to get to rest, some of you. Okay, so what else? Let's get some more details for these three cards, starting with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Okay. Let me do this so you can see this. And also, I noticed I am like being very particular with where I'm placing everything. And that is, I mean, of course I place things normally not like that, not this um, particular. And so what I'm getting to is this could be your energy. You have been very meticulous, very meticulous with whatever you have been doing and paying attention to detail or maybe for some of you, maybe you've been over, over analyzing, over judging um, yourself and and so you've been going overboard that way and so it's got you off kilter well it's you're you're coming into balance now or you will be coming into balance this month because of for one communication coming in will reassure you I got for, for some of you it will reassure you it will um, enable you to to completely push away any of those negative self-imposed thoughts that you were thinking and you will be able to see the truth which is very positive whatever you've been working on whatever it is that you've been hard at work doing okay so now okay so yes King of Cups is under the Wheel of Fortune. So yes, you are going to be so happy, so thrilled, and so relieved. Just all of these positive emotions for you. And yeah, because it's been turbulent. Some of the, your emotions have been turbulent, I'm getting was drawn to, I don't know if you can see that, the, the turbulence in the, the water. And so, but you've been still, even, even with that Capricorns, you've been, you've been solid and you've been still, um, afloat and, and continued on whatever you were doing. And so that's awesome. But now you now, this is you, I'm seeing King of Cups energy. So you're very, or you will be sometime this month, very emotionally satisfied. And again, this is just the calm, peaceful, balanced emotions. And you're sitting on your throne. You are in control of, of this, these emotions, your personal emotions. And what do I want to say? Um,
you're not you're not swayed you're just in your peaceful balanced state all month long relaxed maybe having fun but you are totally in control of yourself emotionally and you're very very thankful and grateful too okay and then the judgment card okay so under that is the five of pentacles so you could have been lacking you know this has been tough as far as financial for you this particular time um maybe you felt like you couldn't get out of it it's been you know uh i just got maybe you felt left out in the cold um the snow or just walking and walking <laughs> Um, or frozen too, frozen in a spot financially or lacking in whatever material, physical way. Not anymore. Not anymore. Okay, and it has everything to do with communicating. Your communication, your self-expression this month. How you are communicating, that you are communicating, and who you you are communicating with, and then their responses back to you. It I'm getting is taking you out of this. Okay, so maybe some of you were really keeping yourself to yourself, and keeping quiet, and you know zipping your lip and not saying anything and just being private. Well now. And, and so that was, you know, you were stuck in there, but again, again, you need there, that was the time for that. And you had to, to gain some wisdom, gain something from that time, but you have, you have with this judgment card is what I'm seeing. And also what I'm getting is. You stayed in your integrity throughout this rough time. You didn't blame others or anything like that is what I'm getting. You, you stuck to yourself and you just stayed in your integrity and just kept um, putting one foot in front of the other and doing, you know, working through whatever this is. And so now you're getting the blessings for, for it. Absolutely. It's come full circle. And the world, you know, and then three of wands. Yes. And now, oh, I just got two. Now you can see, you can see why you had to go through all of this. Because here, the th three of wands, what it's showing me is you now have a different perspective because you've gained self-worth. Look at all of that yellow and a solid foundation. Um, root foundation for yourself through all of this hardship, this five of pentacles hardship, whatever that was, it was necessary for you. And so now you have a brand new outlook and maybe that's, that is what is coming for some of you this month. And so it, it completely changes, transforms your whole perspective, which is transforms your emotions into the king of cups which then sends this uh, wheel of fortune moving forward for you and the judgment then you're getting you are getting rewards for all you've gone through and what you've done and your whole world your whole world is transformed and it's getting for some of you it is instantaneously because all it has to do is this perspective and you seeing being able to see the whole truth being able to see a different perspective being able to see and be grateful for okay be grateful for again why you went through this you found the reason you found the gem of wisdom for yourself so you have gained what this was teaching you what was necessary for you to go through and now you're grateful and thankful for this time 
this hard time. And that's what life is all about. And maybe you have been, because that is exactly what astrology and our natal wheels and specifically our nodes of the moon, those that's our personal work right there. And then the planets and how, and even Chiron, and how they relate and encourage us, each one of us, to consciously bring out what our nodes are and then so that we can then work through it. Wow. So that is outstanding, Capricorns. Okay. I am going to just quickly, I want to see what, what this, what, what's some of your blessings? Oops. Oops. Or a blessing before I close this reading. Oops. Okay, so. So yes, I'm getting, you're going to get to finally rest, sit back and watch and enjoy the blessing of what you have accomplished. That's beautiful, Capricorns, that's beautiful. Okay, so let's just get one more card for Capricorn, please, before I close this reading. And this balances you. This, this way of seeing and finding the, the gem in the hard ache, hard times that you had that's the game changer for you, Capricorns. And it is instant. Facts change feelings. Okay. It's like dominoes falling. This is what I just saw in my head. Okay, so one more for Capricorn, please. Give us something. Or September, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, North or South Nodes of the Moon, Capricorn. It's specific, I'll tell you that much. Specific. It's a specific card. I know it's in there. I can feel it. So let me see here. Okay. Whoa, this one. Purity. Wow. Purity. Oh, that is so beautiful. And I love there's one blue eye and one green eye. You are unique Capricorn. Don't you, don't you, um, forget that. Don't you forget it and be, you can stand tall. You can stand tall and be so thankful and grateful that you are your unique self. You are no one else is made like you. No one. You are unique. You are beautiful. You are handsome. And you're coming out of the winter. What I just got too, for some of you, is with this different color of eyes, is that you're able to see uh, two different perspectives or you're able to see, put yourself in different, different perspectives so that you can see the whole picture accurately. And I just got purity of thought, purity of thought. That's a, something for someone too. Okay, well, that's all I have for you, Capricorn. And you relax, enjoy yourself, and watch the fruits of your labors come to you. Okay, until next time. Bye.